The past few years have been pretty rough for Disney as they continue to double and triple down on pushing an agenda instead of actually entertaining people. But the most recent release on Disney Plus just continues to make it worse for this company. When people heard that they would be doing a Willow TV series, a follow-up to the 1988 movie, people knew it was likely going to be a disaster. And then when you started hearing people talking about it, including Jonathan Kasdan, the dude who wrote Solo, who made Lando pansexual, when he said that the central story was going to be a lesbian teen romance to make sure we could bring this for the modern audience, well, then you knew it was going to be a disaster. And that's exactly what it's been. Willow ratings are the worst for Disney Plus. Samba TV is back and provides numbers for the first two episodes released last week. Yes, this is the worst we've seen on Disney Plus. And it's not just that people aren't tuning in, the people who are tuning in absolutely despise it. This is a worse audience rating than something like She-Hulk. That's how bad the fan reaction has been to Willow. But let's take a look at this. Willow isn't a big hit with fans and it isn't a hit on Disney Plus as its ratings are the worst for a show on the streaming service. At least any that we've seen any numbers for. Samba TV took a bit of a sabbatical for some reason following the release of Rings of Power. Yeah, very suspicious how that all worked out, isn't it? But now they're back and providing numbers for Willow. According to Samba TV, only 481,000 households watch Willow in its first five days of release, and that's with two episodes releasing at the same time. Here is that graphic from Samba TV. Since Samba TV has been releasing numbers, Willow marks the lowest rating for a show on Disney+, Plus, much lower than, Miss Mar or than Marvel's Miss Marvel series, which saw only 775,000 households tune in, and lower than She-Hulk's 1.5 million households in those first four days. Willow is from Disney's Lucasfilm, where it can't even compare to The Mandalorian, Obi-Wan, or even Book of Boba Fett. We don't know the Andor numbers again because for some reason Samba TV went on a hiatus. Now, I would expect that the Andor numbers would be better than Willow's, but less than virtually everything else on that list. But this is exactly what everyone should expect. Fans to go away. Audiences to go away. When you decide to take something that people care about, and it's not like this is a big brand, and I, we should clarify this. I don't think anyone ever expected it to do something crazy, right? To do like set records or anything like that, because it's not Marvel, it's not Star Wars, it's not this brand behind it, but Willow is does have a dedicated fan base. But when you decide to make something that shits all over that fan base, why would anyone show up to this? And this is a desecration. That's definitely what this is. This is a show that I don't know if there are any redeeming qualities. The costuming looks like garbage. The dialogue is cringe CW. Even all of the actors, like all the young actors and actresses in this, they don't even use accents that the rest of the adults use. It's really weird. It's like they took this and were like, let's make it for Gen Z and make all these people relatable to TikTokers. It's really weird. And this is not the way to captivate an audience. This is not a way to grow an IP, to grow a brand, to get people to watch. We've seen it time after time after time. There's a reason that CW never made money in its entire history because that's the demographic that they targeted and it failed completely and utterly. And that's basically what Willow is. It's chock full of identity politics. Uh, they do their best to take these characters that you did care about and try to bring them down and to promote all these other hero characters. Oh yes, we need our princess and our lady knight to have a lesbian relationship to go off and save the prince who's absolutely useless. And every other dude in the show is basically a piece of shit too. Uh, but this is just standard with Disney. It's standard with Lucasfilm. And you've, you're seeing this reaction. As far as I know, this is the lowest rated thing we've seen from Disney+, Plus, at least in terms of its original series that have been released like of note over the existence of this platform. This is sad and pathetic, but it's exactly what people have come to expect from Disney and from Lucasfilm. Time after time, they will push fans away. They will show that they have contempt for the source material. They're bringing people like Jonathan Kasdan, uh, the woke loser who wrote Solo, who went out there to proclaim that Lando Calrissian is a pansexual, and now he's doing similar things to the story of Willow. Absolutely garbage, but this is what we've come to expect. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.